Welcome back, everybody. This is part three of my 12-minute quarter sim slider set. As usual, let's not waste any time. Let's just jump right in. I first got to show love to everybody that subscribed to the channel. And I'm almost at my first 100 subs. So, man, really appreciate you guys. Now, here in part three, I'll be covering five different things of how the sliders affect the rebounds, fouls, tendencies, and then I'll go over the controller and menu settings, and then some recent box scores of my version 1.3 set. With rebounding, I increased the offensive by two while decreasing defensive rebounding by two. So a nice four point gap has really showed up in the gameplay. Before this change, it felt like the defensive rebounding was boosted more than the offense. And it feels way more balanced. The CPU right here had better position than me and was able to cause a jump ball just off the tip. Watch Tony Bradley's silver rebound chaser badge really go to work on me here. Like he's bricking, I'm contesting, and I can't snag a board for my life. But hey, better badge wins the battle. Next, one of my favorite things is to talk about fouls and 2K did a decent job of trying to really increase the number of fouls caused this year. And at my settings, I'm seeing a lot more jump shot foul calls, even four point plays that I wish I got footage of to show you guys. But I'm also seeing some contact dunks. Um, it's really nice just to see the variety. Even with the body up and the blocking fouls, I mean, come on, you can't beat that. Now here's a foul tip. If you play with the layup timing off, you're going to see a lot more fouls when driving into the paint. And it might just be an animation thing, who knows, but so far this has worked for me. Now in my recent games, you can see that my free throw attempts are increasing. And I'd like to see the CPU get more attempts as well, but this is progress. I like it. Now, before we move on, you guys have shown a ton of support and I would appreciate it if you like this video, subscribe to the channel or leave a comment below and let me know how these are working out for you. You're helping out me and the 2K community, man. So appreciate you guys. Now, with the tendencies, I'm still testing a lot and I do notice that the star players really do play true to life, but you will see often that the CPU does like to take you all the way to the hole every time just about and not only on offense i made some adjustments to the defensive tendencies as far as the passing lanes going for on ball steals and i tweaked a couple things also for the user cpu when you're not controlling them and i'm starting to see some good consistencies and here are some of the results i'm finding some shot variety by the cpu i'm still seeing them take advantage of what you give them no more spam in the passing lanes and i'd like to see the tendency sliders be weighted a little bit more one day now, a big part of what makes 2K sim starts with my controller settings. You can just hit pause right here if you need to see them. Personally, I like to play with the shot meter off. I just like the feel of each player and I also take the green release off just to have the suspense of whether it's gonna go in or not. I also take off who to guard. It just gives me another challenge, personal preference. Then I take assist strength down to zero. That's a tongue twister. And then I also take down box out strength to 20. Um, passing, I usually put it on directional, but default is cool. Now to the main settings. I apologize for the bad video quality too. Uh, 2K doesn't allow you to record in game uh, your main settings, I guess, but uh, I use my phone to do it. So you can just do your own thing here. As promised, here are some of the box scores of the most recent games of my version 1.3 set. Um, I'm testing a lot. I'm seeing a lot of improvements, especially with free throws and fouls. But you guys got to give it a try yourself and let me know what you think. Now, as we move along in the series, you guys can look forward to a couple of things, man, that I'm excited about. In the next video, I'll be comparing real player percentage versus the shot meter timing and navigating which one is a better feel for you in your My NBA season. I'll also be giving you tips on how to set up your My NBA so that you can have a real sim experience. And on every Friday at 6 p.m., I'll be live streaming on YouTube a full game, 12 minute quarters, and you guys can sit, watch, comment, or leave some suggestions all in real time. It should be fun. Lastly, I'm also on operationsports.com. You can find me there and my slider set is under the 2K slider forum. And um, you can see everything there. Everything is broken down. You can see all my numbers. And uh, just tap in with me there, man. You know, this is a community thing, you dig? So again, appreciate you guys checking out the video and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.